Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what you need to know to become a data analyst. So if you are interested, keep watching. Okay, so welcome back to the classroom. We're going to talk about what you need to know to become a data analyst, as it was introduced in the previous uh, voice. Okay, so understanding the role of a data analyst. Before we dive into the skills and qualifications required to become a data analyst, let's first understand what the role entails. Data analysts are responsible for collecting, processing, and performing statistical analysis on large sets of data. They then use these insights to identify trends and make data-driven decisions. So basically, this is the role that a data analyst play in an organization. Okay, so what are required or what are the required skills for a data analyst? So to become a data analyst, you need to have a combination of technical and soft skills. And the technical skills requires you to be proficient in uh, programming languages and business intelligent tools. So some of the languages that one has to be proficient in is Python, R, SQL, and tools like Excel, Power Query, Power BI, and Tableau. So the first Python, R, and SQL are basically programming languages. And Excel, Power Query, Power BI, and Tableau are other tools that you can learn. But then to start, you need to start with the easiest one first. So I recommend Excel as a starting point before you delve into SQL and Python. Because when you grasp the understanding with Excel, switching to complicated programming tools become much easier. And Power BI and Tableau 2 will really help you to visualize your data. So after learning Excel, you can also learn Power BI and Tableau before you switch to their programming languages. So these languages are essential in handling and manipulating large sets of data. Additionally, you need to have a solid understanding of statistics and data analysis techniques. So one we ask what qualifications do you need to become a data analyst? So aside any academic certificates, uh, you can get certifications in data analytics from recognized institutions, which we will talk about later. There are a lot of uh, organizations like Google, Microsoft, IBM, who has good certification courses. But then the skill is what is important. So let's focus on the skill now. And the next thing we'll talk about is building a portfolio. So once you acquire the skill, the next thing that you need to do is to build a data analyst portfolio. And this is what you showcase to a prospective employers or anybody that you want to interact with or show that you are proficient in data analytics so you can create a portfolio by working on data analysis projects contributing to open source projects or participating in data analytics competitions so you can just grab some data and analyze it or use your skill to uh, to manipulate it so that you can keep as a portfolio to show to prospective uh, employers. Then, the next important thing is finding job opportunities. So once you build your skill in data analytics, the next thing is you need to find job opportunities. And some of the common places that you can look for job is LinkedIn, Glassdoor, or Indeed. And also, you can get remote jobs from freelance sites like Freelancer, Fiverr, etc. Uh, they are very good places that you can get full-time or remote jobs. You can also network with other data analysts, attend job fairs, or participate in uh, industry events. It's important to tailor your res resume and cover letter to the job you are applying for and highlight your relevant experience. This is very necessary. You know, you need to learn how to design your resume that will be tailored to suit what em em employers require. 
So all these are skills that you need to get. You have to know which we will also talk about in future videos. We will talk about how to design a very good data analytic resume. Okay, so in conclusion, becoming a data analyst requires a combination of technical and soft skills. Uh, we couldn't talk about some of the soft skills in our earlier videos, but then uh, the basic soft skills that you need is communication skills, how you present your findings to uh, whoever uh, is, is, is required to know. So that entails the soft skills that you need. And you also need to get relevant certifications, strong portfolio and effective job search strategies. With the demand for data analysis on the rise, this is a lucrative career path for anyone interested in working with data. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So before I sign off, uh, I'll need your support and all the all that I need from you is to watch the video, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, like the videos and share the links. You can also drop your comments in the comment section so that this page becomes very interactive. Th thanks in advance and hope to see you in the next video.